Welcome to AEC 6211, delivering educational programs in agricultural settings with Professor Grady Roberts. In this course, students focus on delivering educational programs in a variety of settings, both formal and informal. Dr. Grady Roberts integrates real-world activities and practices that are theory-based and exemplify best practices. In AEC 6211, Dr. Grady Roberts develops an online community with his students that is active and thriving. Greetings and welcome to AEC 6211. I'm Dr. Grady Roberts and I'll be your instructor for this course and so I've shot this little video to kind of give you an introduction to the course and an introduction to me and so we can get off on a, a good foot to, uh, to start this course out. I hope you guys have had an enjoyable summer um, here in the Gainesville area, it's been pretty wet and rainy, um, and so we're kind of looking forward to, to, uh, to things drying out. And you know, there's a lot of optimism on campus right now. We've got a new football coach, and the, the players have been practicing and building up. And a couple of weeks from now, we'll start the season. And so um, right now, we're undefeated, and so hopefully that'll carry through uh, for the rest of the season. These students get to see their instructor in videos regularly and get to know each other through their video blogs. Students start by introducing each other through their own videos. Hi, my name is Asia Cunningham and this is my first semester as a grad student here at UF. I am very excited about being part of UF and being Gator. My undergraduate degree is in Citrus Business from Florida Southern College. And the reason I joined this program is to specialize in extension. It is my career goal and my dream to be in extension working with commercial citrus growers one day. These regular submissions and responses really help the students create an online learning community. The impact of peer feedback and encouragement is palpable in the work and the results the students produce. Dr. Grady Roberts and other instructors demonstrate various teaching delivery methods in video presentations. These presentations offer students an opportunity to see an instructor put into action a teaching method and a delivery method, such as in Module 6 when active and cooperative learning are demonstrated by Eric Stubbs. Students are then asked to create their own cooperative learning lesson and deliver it. Everyone. You'll notice that there are markers and some yellow paper on your desk. We're going to do a group activity today that involves some sketching and some designing and engineering. So you're going to create your own technological invention today. And we did a timeline activity where we looked at 10,000 years where agriculture started over here at the very beginning 10,000 years ago. And then we did a mathematical calculation and we calculated how many years each tile would have to represent. And then so you stood where you were supposed to and you represented an event and remember almost all the technological inventions we looked at like fertilizers and tractors, everyone was standing over on this side of the room. And so that showed you that all these inventions have started to happen really fast in the past hundred years. So technology is coming along really quickly. Students in this course create their own plans based on the various methods of teaching and delivery and practice the actual delivery of this content to their respective audiences. This really brings the teaching and learning activities to life. In module 13, for instance, the instructor demonstrates a particular method of teaching, its positives and its challenges, and how it would work in a real class. You're going to actually watch me do this. Moji, would you read step one for us? Draw the complete circuit. Check that out. It is done up on the board. Moji did an awesome job doing that. All right, step number two. You get somebody else to read that. Turn off power to the circuit or to the outlet. So we're going to make sure that we go to the circuit breaker and turn off power, or you may have a pretty bad day or a bad hair day at any rate. Uh, so number three. All right, make sure that you've got your safety equipment. Absolutely. So you guys have safety glasses on. Um, looks pretty good there. Um, what's number four? Determine what type of wire is needed. So we have some different types of Romex that we can use. And we either have two wire Romex or three wire Romex. And what we need to do to determine that is count the number of wires here. Students then do the same. By selecting a topic they're passionate about in an appropriate audience, students practice delivering their lessons. Most importantly, students then reflect on the success and the challenges of each and every attempt. 
This exercise in self-assessment helps the students discover their strengths and weaknesses. While the peer feedback that they receive helps to provide them with creative solutions to any issues they might have encountered along the way. The culminating activity is one which allows students to select their preferred method and topic, prepare and deliver a lesson, such as Asia's Experimental Learning two-part video presentation. Hi. Hi. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing our experiment that we are going to look at later on in the week when we have our lesson. Now we've been learning about the root system of the plant, which is what is going on below the soil and how the roots um, take water and nutrients and bring them up through the plant. And we've also been learning about photosynthesis, where the plant makes food for itself through the leaves and it's transported throughout the rest of the plant. Tonight our experiment is going to be, we're going to be using celery stalks and we're going to be using colored water. And what this is going to show us is the vascular system of the plant, which allows those nutrients and water to flow up through the plant and down and throughout the rest of it from the leaves. AC6211 truly works to help students become excellent educators.